guys, it is Vlogmas day four. I'm so excited. Um, so today's, I just gonna put it out there. Some people like to watch me eat apparently. I don't know, I don't, you know, I find it interesting. It must be my facial expressions as I'm eating. I don't really know. So I kept seeing this thing. So I thought this is the perfect opportunity because I kept seeing this commercial with the guy from President's Choice. I forget his name. Anyway, and he kept coming up and they're bang bang shrimp. So this is it. So I went and picked this up today. So once again, Vlogmas might be up a little late today because I'm actually shooting it the very day because I went to pick this up yesterday and no frills was crazy. And I was like, I'm not just like going to pick up shrimp. So went and picked it up today. Um, it was on sale for $9.99, originally $10.99. I saved a whole dollar to me. Um, a little pricey because it says you get 12 shrimp minimum so we'll have to see when we open this up but it's tender shrimp in a crispy crunchy breaded breading with an irresistibly rich and tangy chili sauce great for tossing or dipping so you can either toss it in or just like use it to dip in so yeah and whatever's on the front they're like put it in some tacos it looks like so yeah, but I'm just gonna eat it like this. And while I was there, I picked up some apple cider. So I'm gonna try the apple cider. This is obviously alcohol-free, um, non-alcoholic. I am going to try it cold and warm up. And I apologize, some of you were upset yesterday that the mulled wine was not warmed up, but it is what it is. So let's go and get this. So these take about 20 minutes, it says. Uh, 425 Fahrenheit oven, thaw an open sauce pouch in a bowl of warm water, rain shrimp in a single layer on a Greek baking ship sheet, but I'm just gonna use parchment. And bake to 18 to 20 minutes, turn once or until crispy, let stand for two minutes, toss with sauce or serve with sauce off the side. So yeah. I have my oven all prepped. I'm going to go and get these arranged on there. We're going to heat some of this up and drink it cold and see how we like it. And I'm going to let you guys know. And then once it's all ready, I'm going to come back to my tree and eat and have a sip. Okay. So I've got it out on the baking sheet with parchment. So this was a box. Came in. Comes in a little bag. And this is how many. So for like 10 bucks and $10 on sale, more or less, let's be honest. Um, meh, like I'm probably gonna still be starving after this, but that's fine. I I get you're probably supposed to just eat this as a door bag, but these people are eating it on what looks to be like a shrimp soft taco. And then this is like the the sauce. So I just got it in some hot water and we're going to put this in. And we'll set. So I'm going to flip after 10 minutes. So we'll flip. There we go. And now I'm going to put a bit of cider in a bowl, in a pot, heat it up and then Drink some cold. So I just heated some up on the stove and I've got the cold there and got my plate ready. And then while I'm waiting, cause it's got that much time before I have to flip, I'm gonna put a bit. This is for my friend, best friend Leanne, the ugly mold of wine. She like cringed a bit when I drank it cold. So I'm just going to heat a bit up so that while I wait, I can have a bit of a drink and, and then we're just going to end it like that because you don't want it to boil. And yeah, then we're going to flip these for another 10 minutes and then I'll probably just come back when we're going to put the sauce on. So sweet. So quick taste test of the mold, ugly mold wine.
Oh yeah. It's very nice. Mm. Good mulled wine warmed up. So I'm gonna sip on this. I actually just flipped the shrimp. I have to say they smell freaking delicious. Um, and they look good. I'm just like, for the price, I know. I don't know. I just feel like, I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. Ooh, the lens got fogged up. So this is them after they're baked. They smell freaking delicious. They look delicious too. Let's just get them on the plate. Best part about using parchment paper, you can just throw it out and you can just put the pan back in the oven that's, or in the drawer. So I have this all prepared. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna drizzle it on top. And then I'll just mix it around because there is more than enough in here. Like there's probably more sauce than needed, but. Oh yeah. So I'm just gonna mix these and then take them upstairs and we're gonna have a bite. There it is, guys. So let's see if I can sort of lift you guys to see. So that's what it sort of looks like. Clearly, you would be eating something else with these, or you would like have them on the taco thing the guy, the pitcher had. So let's just dig in. I say so a lot, I discovered. That's it. So this, the sauce is definitely got a bit of kick to it, but it's nice, I like it. The only thing is, is that packet way too much sauce in it like this is ridiculous like too much sauce here let's see if i can show you guys like i don't know if you guys can see that but there's like a ton of sauce and i feel like too this is something my husband and i would enjoy and but it would have to be a night where we would have a couple different snack things going on, like some kielbasa and cheese and crackers and some dips and stuff and veggies. Um, just because like one wouldn't, I feel like we would both eat like our six and be disappointed because we'd want more. No. Price wise, the price doesn't make me very happy because it's like 12, you're getting 12 for 10.99 and like you can buy a ring of shrimp. Granted, these are breaded in the sauce and they are delicious, but I don't know. Like these would be more a treat to like. Mm -hmm. A treat in the sense like I wouldn't buy it when company was coming because I wouldn't want to share so they're that good but um, I did notice they had a lime on the front I'm questioning if it would taste good with a bit of lime so I'm just gonna put a lime on three of them I really like this sauce the sauce is delish so if you get this just put the sauce all over don't dip with a bit of lime so they definitely taste good um, there's more sauce than what you need 
But I guess if you were putting it on a taco or some type of like salad or something, at least there'd be a bit more to go over top of whatever. Um, price is a bit upsetting because you only get 12. So that's where I'm a bit put off. But they are good. So if I seen them in store and I was starving, I would probably purchase them. But let's try our hot, hot apple cider. So that big jug that I got was like $4.97. And we, me and my husband, Louis, love cider. He was like disappointed when he came home on the weekend because I drank all the apple cider we had from last week. Okay. So clearly, it's good. Okay, it's like, it's good apple cider, but it's not like fresh from the farm apple cider. You know, like when you go to like the fall fair or something and they have like hot apple cider and it's like legit, like, yeah, this is, you know what? It's just okay, apple cider. It's just okay. Like me and my husband had apple cider last week and it, it was like real apple cider, like fresh, made probably right on the farm, not in a mass production type um, place. So it's just okay. Pay them, pay whatever and get real apple cider. That's what I'm saying. But these, they're delicious. You're going to pay a bit of money but my mouth is happy. So with that being said, Vlogmas day four is over with. We'll see you tomorrow.